The one area that we haven't really focused on in terms of an exercise is how to get the back muscles or the back expanded outward because as we said before in order for the rib cage to move back over the pelvis the rib cage has to open outward to the back and sides. Now when the back is very held here how do you push the back out? So the exercise that we do for that is to stand with your back slightly rounded which means that you tip forward at the waist. And this doesn't mean that you tip from the hips, so your seat does not go backward. It's like you're folding your waist into you. And that slight tip forward from your waist allows your back to round out. So you need that slight outward feeling in your back in order for this exercise to actually have the proper effect. So your hands are halfway up the side of your ribs, thumbs are to the back, so you can feel these back ribs under your thumbs, fingers are to the front, feeling the front ribs. And with your elbows slightly forward, because if your elbows are back at all, it starts arching the back, so you want to keep the elbows forward. So we're going to take a good deep breath in, and then holding your breath, you're going to pull the abdominal muscles in very strongly, and then keeping them held in, that is pushing your, your diaphragm upward, which creates pressure in your lungs. And with that pressure, you're going to focus on pushing outward as though you have elbows inside you, pushing your ribs outward to the sides and to the back. And you should feel the pressure against your hands here. And then when you let your breath out, you want to close the front of your ribs completely. So you breathe out until you have no more air left. And so it's like this. Now the ribs are very closed and you will feel a contraction in the muscles here, keeping the ribs closed. When you let go of that contraction, air is going to rush into your lungs again. So now you're holding your breath again, the stomach muscles are pulled up into you, the diaphragm pushes up, you've created pressure in your lungs, and you're pushing outward into your hands. And you can see the expansion through the back here. And then as you breathe out, you can use a little pressure from your hands if you need to, to allow the ribs to close completely in the front. So I'll do that without talking and you can just see the one to the other. Breathing in, push out, and breathing out, and breathing in, stomach in, and push out. The other thing that expanding the rib cage does for you is that it not only expands your rib cage so that you have more air for your lungs to expand, but that expansion activates the rib muscles and in effect helps to support your upper body. When these muscles are not holding the rib cage open, the rib cage tends to have a collapsed feeling to it. So that all aids in the weight of the body dropping and settling into this bad posture. So the hold of the abdominals plus the opening of the rib cage to the back, just that slight movement of opening the rib cage, you can see helps to look, it looks like the body is holding itself up, whereas a closed rib drops it. So that's really just as important in terms of the use of this exercise to strengthen the support muscles as well as just expanding the rib cage for the use of the breathing.